Welcome back to Football News Center. Today, we're talking about Arsenal and their upcoming match against Porto in the Champions League last 16. It's been a long journey for Arsenal to reach this stage, after sitting out of European competition just two seasons ago. But now, they have a chance to break their last 16 curse and make a statement under manager Mikel Arteta, the match against Porto presents both a challenge and an opportunity for Arsenal. The Estadio do Dragao is a tough venue, and Arsenal have experienced defeat there before. However, this Porto team is not as strong as some of the opponents Arsenal have faced in the past. Sitting seven points behind second place in the Primaia Liga, Porto is a team that Arsenal can potentially overcome. But let's not forget the history. Arsenal's predecessors in the 2010s fell at this same hurdle seven times in a row. The most painful of those exits was a 10-2 aggregate defeat by Bayern Munich in 2017. It was a period that highlighted the mental and tactical weaknesses of the late Arsene Wenger era. But things are different now under Orteta. He has ensured that Arsenal took the group stage seriously, avoiding significant errors and finishing at the top of their group. Arteta himself has experienced the pain of previous last 16 exits and knows the importance of performing at full pace. Since mid-January, Arsenal have hit a fearsome rhythm, scoring goals and tightening up defensively. Arteta's guidance and the presence of players like Declan Rice in midfield have made a significant impact. While they may lack a world-class centre-forward and have depth of squad issues, there are few better teams at the moment. The traditional European powerhouses like Bayern Munich and Paris Saint-Germain are not as formidable as they once were, and the Premier League itself is cannibalising its competition. Arsenal, currently third favourites according to bookmakers, have a real chance to make a mark. However, Porto is not to be underestimated. They have identified weaknesses in Arsenal's game and have forwards like Eva Nilsson and Galino who can exploit them. Arsenal must be cautious and prepared for a tough battle, both in the first leg and the second leg. But this could be the moment for Arsenal to recapture their place among the contenders. They have the talent, the momentum, and a manager who knows what it takes to succeed in the Champions League. So, let's see if Arsenal can break their last 16 curse and take a step closer to the top. That's all for today's update. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more football news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.